This is Supi's much better looking brother. <laughs> Hell no! Look, 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 look. Way gooder. Way gooder. <laughs> Kids, don't try this at home. That's a dead rat, dude. Good morning, everyone. It is build day. I don't know. We got the engine running and my radiator is not plumbed and that's my fault. Here I still gotta make a couple of tabs at our cool Hoonigan little decorative piece right up in here. It'll look super nice. What do you got going on, Alex? Oh, uh, gotta plumb the brake system today. Gotta plumb the brake system. Yeah, you were working your ass off getting that whole pedal assembly in there. Like you were just cutting away. Yeah, that looks dope, dude. Definitely gotta get our power steering cooler all mounted as well. After that, we'll probably focus on getting that throttle cable in there. Unfortunately, that throttle cable is actually somewhat too short, but I think we'll be able to make do. The rest of our fuel system's all good, obviously. Still gotta mount the battery. Me and Alex will uh, cross that bridge when we get there, depending on time. I've been prioritizing go fast and not safety. <laughs> fast first, safety last. Well, good morning again. It is lucky day 13, which means we have exactly 27 more hours of work left on this thing. My partner in crime, Jamo, has already left the building to get some fittings for our, our handbrake that we mounted. And I'm working on this turbo right now. This last intercooler pipe needs to be made. Suspension and stuff is, uh, we're, we're still missing a control arm in the back here. This is gonna get replaced. The goal is to have this car down on the ground today. And that's about it, we'll get to work. Like I said, first things first, this turbo. Another little surprise is we got somebody coming in to help us calibrate this, uh, the AEM, he's real good at it. He's real ugly, but he's good at calibrating cars. So, you see him later. What are you on my side? What are you doing? You got tools that we didn't get, so. No, 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 no. I'm taking it. There's rental fees, buddy. No, no, there ain't no rental fees around here. There's rental fees. Hey, hey, this is, uh, Hey, this is uh, baseball, man. We uh, got one set in there, yours. Hey, we're taking. I'm gonna let you slide today. All right, thanks a lot, buddy. Thank <laughs> okay, so putting our Willwood master cylinders back together, a little bit of a janky setup, but basically the plan is really I had to do this on short notice. These pedals are pretty much set where I want them. I measured it out and everything. That's where it's gonna be. Get the other one on, and we are ready for install. We're really jamming now. Gonna give you guys a bit of an update on what I've been doing here. Finally got the master cylinders all done. Super stoked on that. Go on the inside, three pedals we got, and they work like really, really well. I'm stoked on how well these actually are working. Boom, 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 boom. And then we got a brake, and then we got a clutch pedal, and now I'm just getting the um, the actual throttle cable in place to make that work. Let's see what Josh is doing. Josh, what is that? What's that gonna do? Well, we're gonna take some DOM roll cage tubing and turn it into 
Radiator hose. Radiator hose. Which Steel. 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 Which is like the worst thing you can do to make radiator hose out of because water goes in the engine. We're gonna put water in here. It's gonna be a big no-no, but we don't need it to last very long. We only need it to last for the competition and get water from A to B and then from B to A. Well, you know what, I'm thinking if we run a little bit of coolant, maybe it won't be that bad, but yeah, you I know what? Yeah, I think coolant probably would like keep it from rusting, but if it does, it'll be like from a year from now. I love what I'm seeing here, Josh. Keep up the great work. Fantastic. Got the radiator mounted. Well, I'm probably gonna weld on some tabs, you know, around like here and here to attach to like this internal factory core support for the bumper. And then we can still utilize these side bolts here to actually bolt on the front fenders. So that's it right. Be pretty good for the front bumper. It should be pretty easy. And then if there's any like where it doesn't fit or whatever, we'll just do the grassroots zip tie range bumper attaching oh, yeah. method. Demo. Yeah, man. Making some brake lines? Yes, we are making some brake lines. And uh, so far I'm testing out the Eastwood uh, brake line bender tool, 316 and a quarter inch. Grab it. Put a tension. Put your thumb right here. And bring it down. There's your. Oh, so you could go up to 90. So that's a 90. See how it didn't kink anything here or leave marks? So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna make the baddest line you guys ever seen. I made the brake lines. You know, you're sitting inside the car all the time. You know what I mean? You don't want to look at something that's just rigged up. I mean, if you have that preference. I like to sit inside of a car. Something that I'm staring all day long at if I'm driving my car. I like it to look nice. Hitting the uh, rear springs on the rear suspension. I want to see where the car kind of like lands up because I think what we might have to do is build some like extensions. I don't want to start doing a whole bunch of work and find out the ride height's wrong. So I at least want to get the car on the ground. The spring sits up into the uh, like cup here and then the spring sits on top. You can adjust ride height that way, you know, through here. I don't know if I'll have to build like an extension like here. And I do want to build, uh, maybe take a piece of tubing and weld it onto the inner part of the frame that like sticks down like this so that the spring won't want to like fly out and like move around. So stick these suckers in so we can check it out. God damn. Right off the bat I can tell that it, the front end drooped a lot. It probably drooped like three inches. Probably gonna need to raise the front a little bit. And then we're definitely gonna need to increase the spring rate on the front as well. A lot of movement in the back for this car is okay, but a lot of movement on the front we don't want. Springs are brand new. And what we have on there. What what do we have on there, Alex? 7Ks. Seven 7Ks. Seven so the springs that are currently on the car are 7Ks, these are 12Ks. So we're going higher in spring rate in the front. If I go into a higher spring rate, it will make the car feel a lot more like, like a twitchy effect, or you'll feel more of the road. So if it was a softer spring when dripping, it makes the car kind of like want to wash out. So it'll be a lot easier to drive with these springs on it. Okay, let's go up. All right, we're good. Thank you, Jeff. Zipper on. Done. All right, we're gonna do a quick walk around, quick update. Bash bar is done. In case you didn't notice those cool hella lights right there, definitely makes this car way uglier. The intercooler piping, done. It's done. And Jamo inside here has got the brake lines ran and they're already out here. You see him kind of. He went to go pick up some more fittings because apparently we need a check valve or something. I think that's about it. We didn't really do a lot today. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so I'm gonna take this piece of metal right here and I'm gonna make it our uh, switch panel, I guess. So we got, only got two switches. We got the ignition switch and the fan switch, but we need, it, you know, we need something to hold it on. So I'm gonna take this, straighten it out, put a couple of brake bends in it, two holes, and bolt our switches up, weld it into the car. <laughs> We got my switches mounted here. Got our fans and our on switch that will activate all the Holly Terminator ECU goodness. This is the main component that actually, you know, does the initial base map of the Holly Terminator ECU. And then once this is set up, then we can go ahead and set up our Pro Dash. So to fire this up and get this motor running, we're gonna go into our GCF wizard, select the system, MPFI, eight cylinders, firing order. That's the firing order for an LS motor, 18726543. And then we'll go into liters in the engine. So liters, we're gonna do 6.0. We'll just say 940 at idle speed. And then our cam shaft specs, you need to know your cam shaft specs. And our cam that I put in there is less than 235 degrees of duration. So we'll select that. I do know that we are 24X reluctor wheel on the crankshaft. Obviously you have the option of the 58X. And we are running for injectors, Holly injectors, and they are 42 pounds. Power adder type, we will go with none. And now I'll hit start and we are completely uploading the parameters. And then after that setup, we will go back to the wizard and we will set the TPS auto set. TPS is your throttle position sensor. Now where it says slowly press the pedal to the floor and then slowly release it. Do this twice. I don't have the throttle pedal set up so I'm gonna have to do it manually on the throttle body. So I'm gonna go ahead and slowly open this up manually to full throttle and slowly close it, slowly open it, full throttle slowly close it and then I'll click next. TPS auto set was successful, done. Now that we got our, our pro dash inside the car and it's all wired up, it was super plug and play. There was only a couple of wires that I needed to feed to it. So there's a ground wire that it requires. It also requires a uh, solid power wire. So it needs to be plugged in directly to the battery. So let's just say I don't like this background and I wanna change it, we can go ahead and say if we want to do red cubes. Or if you want to get crazy and you want to put your own image, use a USB plug that plugs into the back of the dash. We go Holly, VFI, and then we go, hey Kyle, we got a cool picture of your van, dude. Let's put that on our background. <laughs> now if I want to add something else, I can go into here and go add, gauge, and I can literally do a, like an array of features here. Say if we want just targeted idle speed, just for, you know, whatever. Click okay, and we'll do, there's you, we can do an analog, a bar graph, digital, thin analog, RPM bar, symbol, status LED. Let's just do analog, and there's our analog gauge. Literally just change it by customizing it here. When you set up these different features here, you can switch over. So now we can see round gauges, you can see this, but the cool thing about this is where it says water pump and N N2O enable, those are also buttons. So if you wanna turn your water pump on, you just hit that button and it turns your water pump on. If you wanna make this turn your uh, fan on your radiator on, it will do that as well. We have our RPM gauge and we have our speed, or our miles per hour gauge. Now this miles per hour gauge doesn't work off like a wheel speed sensor or like a transmission sensor that you gotta get ohms right and voltage right. You don't gotta mess with that. It comes with a GPS speed sensor which is mounted onto the roof of the car. And now I don't have to mess with like sensors because I don't put like miles per hour sensors in anything because to me it's a nightmare. Okay, I'm gonna set up the background for the dash that I'm gonna use while we're doing the Gymkhana grid course. Boom. All right, man, I need to do one more thing I really have to do. I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna cut it. 
I'm gonna make a catch can out of this. Watch me go. When you boost the motor, sometimes the, the pressure goes past the rings, sits into the oil pan, and pressurizes the crankcase and all that stuff. So you want that pressure to relieve out of somewhere. On this motor, it relieves through the valve covers. That's why we drilled an extra hole. And then we were reusing the stock one. So basically, you're just venting out the pressure from the crankcase. This is Soupy's much better looking brother. <laughs> Hell no! Look, 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 look. Way gooder. Way gooder. <laughs> this is Chan. He's uh, one of the best LS and more a tuner LS motors, which they should be higher than him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what are you here for? Well, first we're gonna... <laughs> the free dinner, you <laughs> dumbass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah first yeah. we're gonna just go through the software and the system just to familiarize the setup. So this is like a pre-dyno shakedown. Yeah, so it's just a preliminary setup. You know, just make sure everything's working before we, we hit the dyno. Viewers, let me ask you a question. Do you find yourself driving like this? Would you like to be driving like this? Well, good news, because Hoonigan's got something for you. We're giving away an all-expense-paid trip to Skip Barber Racing School. And all you gotta do to be a part of that is this. Head on over to dollarshaveclub.com slash Hoonigan. Sign up for one of their monthly starter packs. Then head over to hoonigan.com slash DSC. Follow the instructions there. Then you'll be entered to win. It's that easy. How have you not done this already? Back in the game here, popping by the building battle set to check up on the dudes in the last two days of building these things. I'm looking at some real complete stuff here. Look how busy these guys are. You feeling the crunch? Oh, good. You guys look like you're in pretty good shape right now. Yeah, we're doing pretty good, honestly. This is pretty sweet. This fits real well. You guys got the exhaust cutouts, which makes me very, very happy. Oh, I hope. It look does. at this. Oh yeah, that's right. You haven't heard it yet, bro. You can fire this up for me. We can fire it up, but I'm waiting on an oil pressure sensor. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, but gotcha. It runs. Okay. Man, I miss, I miss so much. I miss so much. Look at this custom. Oh. See, that's always a good sign when you guys are able to throw a little bit of flair in there. Got it. A little bit of style points. The front bumper is back on. This is looking like a car again. Oh my god. Every, everything's coming together. I mean, the, the 
one of the main main issues that we had that we couldn't fire up the motor was the push rods were the wrong length totally mm. my fault i own it <laughs> locally uh we got the right size push rods from cpr over here and i think they're torrents something like that so they were local and they had some used ones for 25 bucks no way which literally like saved us i already know we're like over budget unfortunately okay. the only issue that me and alex are concerned with right now is the power steering pump possibly not bleeding yeah, I'm not sure we're not getting, I mean, even when we spin this over with uh, you know, one of the drills, like to at least get it like going, yeah. we're not seeing any movement in the fluid. Ooh. So it's a little bit of a scare to us at this point. That's I mean, everything concerning. else is, is solid. We're good to go. Okay. Battery's all fully mounted. I see you got a passenger seat bracket mounted up. Got a passenger seat bracket. We got our little baller switch Look at that. holder there. Also favorite touch. That was the factory camshaft that came with the motor. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the original camshaft. Because literally we have no more money, Ron. <laughs> we have no more money. So we have to like, we got to literally make almost everything now. I feel like you could have made that shift knob, sold that for like 200 bucks and been in a good place. Probably. I see you routed your brake line. Yeah, Alex has been routing brake. the brake lines and all that stuff. He's finishing up the, uh, looks like the front one or the clutch line okay. for us right now. This rear suspension setup, Obviously it was for Mustang S197. Dude, it lines up like perfect. No way. Zero changes. The only thing I did add to the very top was I added a piece of tubing, uh, like an inch and three quarter tubing up top here that retains uh, the upper portion of the spring so that it doesn't want to like, you know, wander around. Fly out. Yeah, so yeah, the yeah. The spring is like this, the tubing sits down here and just holds it like this. Right. So it doesn't want to, you know, which come is good because you, you know, you know Irwindale pretty well and the infield, which we're going to be using. There's that little bump. There's a couple little bumps actually. Yeah. So you wouldn't want a spring popping out on one yeah. of those situations. We're literally on the home stretch right now. We're gonna dyno tomorrow. Ooh. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we can pull some uh, some good numbers. So as soon as we get up to that uh, start finish line, me and Alex as a driver can be 110% confident that the car is gonna do what we want it to do. Nice. Safety first over here on the building battle set with Soupy. What's up, man? <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. There's so much that happens in just two days. <laughs> you can't miss anything. Look at this beautiful setup. I can't believe you guys, you guys straight up took my advice. That's crazy. <laughs> you mounted it up high. The, the Dubai style exhaust like that, coming right? out. I you, love that. Aren't you a judge? We, we, we're just sucking up. I think right I'm now. a judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we're yeah, sucking yeah. up. All right, all right, all right. All right. I see this this detail right here, this Bosozoku style <laughs> oil cooler coming out of the front. But I do have to point out, there is a hole here. We just decided to do it this <laughs> way, just for some style. There is a of hole course. here. Of course. I don't want to see underneath the comments, them idiots could have went in the hole. We know this. Yeah. I see the bash bar mocked up. The bash up. bar, yeah, yeah. The bash bar is there. Uh, Soupy's working on the bash bar in the rear right now. Okay. Uh, I'm under the hood just uh, doing the little things. That's the old uh, front crash bar that was in the car, that which recycled. No. recycled yeah. and uh, Soupy decided to make it as a catch can. So that was the crash bar, AKA part of the front bumper. Yes. And then you guys just repurposed it as a catch as can. As a catch can. It's, it's aluminum. That's one of my favorite things about this car right here. And Josh's, you guys keep repurposing all types of stuff from jack handles to crash beams to <laughs> coolers and everything. Old wire harnesses. Five of them. Five of, five of them. Five of them. Recycle. That's the, we're we're free. Okay. Uh, we got the hydraulic e-brake all mounted. All brake lines are made nicely following the body line. I oh, love that. That. That's rad. Like we bought that. Man. Oh, and we got this. We got the little well, surprise. The, uh, we call that the laughing gas. We're going to be laughing on our way out. Every time. Yeah, every, every time. time. Yep. Yeah. These are the last couple things we got installed. We got yeah. the brake line today. The steel brake lines. Okay. We got, uh, again, we had enough money in the budget just to get the little things going. This, this, is, a, this is later. You guys will be able to see that later. Okay, okay. Man, you guys are going to be on the spool bus with this thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. Wait a second. What? Yeah, I was genuinely scared that these dudes were going to run the stock wheels for a little bit. I know you guys can't we play like test that. Fitted. I think it should be just mounted it to see if it was the right one, but we haven't mounted okay. it. Okay, okay. We were waiting at least four days for our lug nuts to come in. From oh, LG, okay. And they uh, arrived today. Nice. We'll be putting that on. We'll be putting the car on the floor today. 
Honestly, that color with black and it's the R34 GTR yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, looking, right? yeah, yeah. That's, that's From Kansai. Right Man, Nissan on Nissan action. We were looking for the Type R wheel. That would have looked, <laughs> oh. looked in white. Oh. That would have looked dope. <laughs> whoever, whever ends up getting this car, that's got to happen. That's, gotta that's gotta gotta happen. Happen. gotta happen. You gotta get the, you gotta the, get white, the white Type R. Championship white on the wheels. Ah, <laughs> oh, that'd be sick. Yeah. That'd be my ignition. Fighter pilot status up top. Yes. Alright. Neutral. And here's my push button that we promised we we're gonna put for you. <laughs> and I designed Look it in that. a way for you to light up while it's about to start. That thing is quiet. Very quiet. Very quiet. There you go. Wow. You know, it's only loud when it Yeah. Ah, I love this setup. <laughs> oh, this thing looks so Mad Max spec. I love it. What was that? Yeah, that's pretty sick. Andrew found our wheels on, what was it Andrew? Off or up? Off or up, last day. So, Andrew is literally saving my ass right now as far as budget because I'm over budget and we need more money to put back in it. And Andrew needs some wheels. Yeah, so let's so. check them out, brother. All right, man. Well. What are you gonna put these wheels on? Uh, it's in a IROC 87. Okay. Said. Yeah, I'm trying to go stock on it. All right. Yeah, only this one has the camera. Cool, man. I'll tell you, buddy, you want to take the 100 or? I'll take 100 for him. Yeah. Right, cool, man. What are you guys working on today? Right now, just our, our 88. Oh, we have this right there. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Bang, bang. Yeah, if you want to check it out. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Thank you, Andrew. kind of uh, pay tribute to the R34, the granddaddy of all uh, Nissans. Calculated choice. And of course, our Falcon tires. They're uh, Falcon Azenas. They are an R-rated tire, so this is a really sticky t compound. The front we're running a 235 40 AT. The rear we're running a 245. So the rear is 10 millimeters larger. We're running a Gymkhana grid style, so like chunks of debris will be on the ground and it won't get stuck to your slick. Well, you want to stick your tire because of the grip. If we're doing Gymkhana, we're not drifting. But there are going to be a couple slides and stuff, so uh, once you start heating these up, the, the R compound really comes in and it becomes really sticky, so you can kind of hug the turns a little better. We got the alignment guy coming in in a couple minutes, so I'm going to throw these on, put the car back down on the ground, and when he gets here, he's going to put up on his ramps and his jig and he's going to set us up. You ready to meet the chillest alignment guy in California? Dude, I don't know how you got, I don't know, I don't know. Any more chill than you guys, it's just like, stop. Yeah. 
guy. Going to the beach. We go Woo, to gotta the work beach. on my tan. Yeah, right? Damn, you gotta work on your damn tan. Yo, check this out. No! No, no. <laughs> we want people to watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed this. Handa. Wait, wait, what's the A? What's the Handa? The Handa. Did you ask Alex what kind of, what kind of uh, motor we got in there? We got a Handa. Ah, right, you got a Handa motor. You got a Handa motor in there. You got there. a Handa motor in there, powered by Handa. Powered by Handa. That's perfect. Man. You boys can fab, but whoa, whoa, let's whoa. talk about yeah, thicker whoa, playlists. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> back up, back up. She's a ten-footer. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Got the red logs. You got the red logs. You got you got to do that little JDM fanboy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, y'all boys need an alignment. Yeah, yeah no, they got the guy here. Look at that seamless integration. What's up, man? This is Tanner. How you doing? Tanner's from, well. Or, OC you mobile alignment. Yeah. OC mobile alignment, okay, but you use Wonder Aligner gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all are gonna get that laser <laughs> alignment. Lasers. We got some nice. connector 20. Here, let's see your style. I really like the Yeah, every time you walk by, it's a little ankle biting, you know what I mean? I had to like double take it. I'm like, what is going on? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, I, I, I did that. Who did that? Precision right there. Or maybe you can't be. You're going to get tetanus. The hand up. The hand that looks good. The hand that looks crazy. The hand up. It's looking good. Precision. Precision <laughs> cutting. Precision fitment. I mean, it looks like it exploded out of there. Like, it, it grew a surprise that turbo. That's, that's it. It aliened out of it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just not builders. We're our artists. Our artists. Our artists. Our artists. artists. <laughs> All right, so it's the second to last day for these dudes to build their cars, and this is looking fairly complete. We got we got a little bit of hood work, or I don't know, maybe maybe the hood just stays like that. I don't really know. These guys keep pulling surprises on me. They had me thinking all this time that they'd be running stock wheels. We got the con size on here. Uh, we got our alignment done. Got the alignment done. We gotta get ready for our tuning day is Saturday. Okay. So we're gonna tune the car, see what we make. So you guys are gonna throw it on the dyno. We're gonna get yeah. dyno it. Yes. Any power guesses? I'm shooting for 500. Shooting for 500 wheel? I think so. I think 500. Yeah, right around there. E85. How many psi you think? As much as it takes to make 500. As much of the psi's as possible. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. I'm curious to think what you guys think this challenge is gonna look like. So. Build quality, I think you guys stand behind your product. Yeah. You right. guys are we, pretty... We, we, stand, we took a lot of time last week just to go over the details. And then, you know, I, I said this before, the details is what makes the car. Style. Let's talk about Come style. On. Come on. <laughs> you see our hood? I know, <laughs> I know. see that hood? Van Gogh would be proud. Van Gogh, Van Gogh would be... I don't think Van Gogh knew what a turbo was. But anyway, <laughs> originality. Come on. K-Series and a 350. K-Series and a 350Z. 
I know. Someone I know. please Google that. See if there's anything else. Here. One least money spent. That's, uh, we're under budget. We're under budget. You guys are still under? We're still under budget. With the wheels and everything. With the wheels and everything. And the driver? Uh, we're gonna try we're first. Gonna, gonna okay, okay. You guys are gonna try first then yourselves. Then totally suck. Okay. We're gonna get someone else. Okay. But we're hoping we don't totally suck. So then the race challenges, that comes down to best of five matches, fastest lap, and I don't know if you guys knew this, there's a whole shot award. So Jamo, you get a little bit of your drag racing in there. Yo, whole shot award. There's a whole shot Did award. Did you not see what was in the trunk? That's the whole shot winner. That's, that's, that's right that's, there. That's your whole shot award right there? That's my whole shot award. Okay. Right there. I think okay. we got that one covered. So Team Soupy, pretty confident in the work. Confident. Confident, confident, just ready to go on the ready. dyno, right ready now. to go to the ready. track. We didn't come this far for no reason. Yeah. That's true. Just to you show guys... you guys what we could do, that's one. That's, that's one. right. Yeah. It's not as hard to lose either. That's, <laughs> of course, that's priority. <laughs> Josh Mason, what's up? I always love seeing you cool ass Ron. <laughs> <laughs> that's the CAR, that's the car in Ron car. We got some camber dialed in. Well, how many how many negatives are we in right now? Like a nine-ish. Whoa. Nine-ish round. So aggressive. We fired it up. It sounds good. We're having a major power steering issue. That power steering pump has two inlets, one outlet. One outlet, which is your high pressure, and there's two uh, for the return. And I think we have the returns crossed. Crossed. I think. So the judging categories. Okay. We got a couple of them. Okay. First one, build quality. Where do you think you're at? Build quality, I wanna say we use some pretty good components. I'd say we're maybe mediocre, be safe. I wouldn't sell yourself too short. Let's let's go back, let's look at this again. Oh, the rear end tied into the cage, repurposing old parts for the shift knob, for the steering column. You know, I'm looking at the welds, I'm looking at some of the stuff in here. You know, you got the, it's, it's gonna be close. Yeah, and like we still don't have a transmission tunnel, unfortunately, so oh, that's what yeah, makes that's right. me kind of Let's talk a little bit about the next category, originality. Okay. Originality. Who would think to build a third gen as a drift car or a Gymkhana grid car? True. So. True. All right, and the last one, of course, style. You know, we're looking at the meaty tires. We're looking at, we, we talked about this a little bit before, how yeah. maybe not completely on purpose, but it matches, the wheels match the Camaro badge. Yeah. You know, by using, you know, the engine components for, you know, our steering adapter and our shift knob, a little bit of Frankenstein, but you know, that's what gives it some personality. The only thing I'm worried about is actually the rear end of this car. Right. So that is literally the only thing me and Alex really discussed like how we're gonna change, you know, our driving styles, especially me. So with one build day left, you guys aren't too stressed. Figure out the power steering issues, yeah. button up a couple small things. Me right now. Yeah. Literally, that's the only thing. Okay. Me. Okay. One build day left. That's it. These guys are just troubleshooting a couple small things, but in reality, the cars are pretty much done, and that's super exciting because that means that we'll get to the dyno, we'll get to the challenge, and we'll actually get to see both of these cars go heads up in a Gymkhana race, import versus domestic, east versus west, build and battle. This is what it's all about. This is what Jesse's all about. This is what we're all about. This is what Kyle's all about. Final build day of build and battle. They're putting the final touches on the cars. Ooh. Like I said, it's just for fun. Right after that, we're just gonna get straight into the challenge. Oh. That's it! How am I supposed to get my thing in? I just wanted to give you a challenge, man. Ugh. I can't make it too easy for you. Damn it, Josh. You know what? What? I'm pretty what? sure the camera ain't gonna lie when I said, hey, Alex, you think I should just put the fuel regulator right there? Yeah, you know what, yeah, Josh? Josh? I would love you know for what? it to be right there. Put it right so you know there. what? The camera don't lie. That's a fantastic spot. I completely agree. You're doing a great job. So technically, it wasn't my fault. 